My name is Esther Snickers and I'm the founder of CISO. CISO is a global platform where you can find a facilitator for a constellation in your area or online. In this podcast at the kitchen table with, you get to know facilitators. They talk about their background and the wonderful work they do. Well, good afternoon, Oriana. Nice to have you here. Yeah, good afternoon, Esther. I'm really, really happy to be here and to uh, share about my passion. Yeah, well, we have a little contact before and then, and well, in the months before, and I'm very um, glad that you are here because you do a lot of good work and uh, you have a lot of, uh, well, a big audience. And um, so let me, t- let me start by, uh, let's start by the beginning. When did you discover about constellations, systemic constellation? Well, it has been more than 20 years I discovered family constellation. And uh, to begin, I was a kinesiologist. So I used to give sessions and touch the body and test muscles and uh, support my clients to find a new balance in their lives. But sometimes I discovered that my clients, they were doing everything well, and they didn't get uh, the result they were expecting. So I was wondering, what what about that? Why it's not working with these uh, specific clients? And uh, very, very uh, fast, I discovered that it was related with their genealogy, their ancestors. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, with kinesiology, we had some tools and we still have these tools, but they were not enough efficient to uh, free my clients from these toxic loyalties, I like to say. And... uh, It was really funny because one day I was just uh, going to a shop we had uh, in the town where I used to live in Belgium. And uh, in this uh, shop, uh, they used to uh, offer flyers and uh, information about so many different types of uh, uh, workshops. It wasn't yet the, the, the world with internet. So we used to... To, to go to some places and uh, find uh, the papers and uh, um, a magazine and uh, read everything and try to find a workshop. So I found a workshop with Alfred Ramoda Osterman. And this guy is from Berlin. He, he was and is, is still um, a student from Bert Erlinger. Mm-hmm. And he started the first training course in Belgium. Okay. So I was really excited. But, well, not immediately. I joined the second training mm. course, the second uh, group. And uh, it was uh, in 2001, something like that. Uh, I No. I think we have been for two years because at this time, please. Yes, so I have this problem at this time with my internet. Okay, I will start. Um, so uh, it was uh, not uh, imaginable to, uh, to uh, follow this kind of training course in two weeks, but It was like that two years at least to dive into this wonderful, magical, powerful world we call systemic constellation. And it was the beginning of an amazing journey with myself Mm -hmm. and with my clients. And uh, it started like that. And uh, when I joined this training course, I didn't know anything about family constellation. I never... Uh, read any book so I was like innocent and uh, without any idea about what could be constellate work 
And, you know, I love that. <laughs> I really love yeah. that. It, it was really powerful. It was uh, life changing for me. And, uh, and finally, I just uh, left day by day the kinesiology to devote myself mainly to family constellations and systemic constellations. Wow. That's, that's a story. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. But at that time, you lived in, lived in Belgium? Right? Yes, uh, because I'm Belgian. Yeah. But I have a, my ancestor. I have half part of my ancestor on the father's side. They were from Belgium, but you know the German part. Mm -hmm. And the other uh, part uh, from my mother's side, they, they were and they are still Portuguese. So okay. I am half Portuguese, half Belgian. Okay. So and after the, the two years, you started your your practice. Yes. Practice, I, right. Or, or well, I I used to to do a kinesiology on. A, daily basis uh, I had uh, many clients and I had a school uh, a school where I used to teach to uh, future professionals of kinesiology I used to teach to them how to use to uh, support their clients and progressively I moved my practice from kinesiology to constellation because I noticed we very less protocols we can say I, I i used to get very powerful results very uh life-changing results and it's Hmm. Why well, I decided to use constant so or, or maybe can, I can be can start. I, yeah, your your uh, Wi-Fi is a little bit yeah. unstable, okay. I think. Yeah. yeah. So, so don't worry. No. Ah. And I notice uh, here something is not okay. My name. Uh, I need to change my name. I didn't notice that. Ah, some time. Um, <clears throat> okay, so what I was uh, telling you, it's uh, what I, why I decided to, um, to train myself to kinesiology or with kinesiology because uh the the connection with the body seemed to me very very important and i noticed that so many information they were stored in our cells and in our bodies mm -hmm. and when i discovered with uh, alfred uh, ramoda osterm and the constellation it was really uh uh important uh the connection with the body to use uh, my senses to feel the field, to feel the emotions. To ask, you know, we use the process of phen phen phenomenology, sorry. We use the process of phenomenology. Mm -hmm. And this process is really, really uh, important because we just observe without judging yes yes i like so much um constellation because it's really connected to the body yes and yes. uh and facts we we don't give so much attention to uh, justification to uh, explanations. Uh, I am not okay because that, that my father was like that, my mother was uh, this and that. And uh, yeah, we just be 
in the field and we reconnect with our sensations, our emotions, and we let go and we make peace just by using this beautiful process called acceptance. It's about acceptance. Mm -hmm. And it took years to me to understand the meaning of acceptance because I wasn't accepting my parents as they were and I wasn't accepting myself and I wasn't accepting my life and I was struggling, fighting and using a lot of energy to, uh, to create the life I wanted and I was... I wasn't able to just receive, receive the life from my parents, to receive the, the abundance, to, 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 uh, to be who I was and who I am. So it was really, it's why I'm, I'm telling you that it was uh, life changing because I changed my posture in my life, my attitude. Mm -hmm. And, um, and it empowered me very, very strongly. So, yeah, I, I just recommend this <laughs> yeah. process. So, but... Oh, Go ahead. No, it's okay. <laughs> From that point, after the two years, you did only constellations and you empowered your, your business? Or what, how did it go? Yeah, well, uh, I started to do group constellations in my uh, little town. And, um, and after I started to uh, give lectures in different countries, mainly in France, Switzerland and Belgium. And, um, and uh, yes, uh, uh, to, to do retreats and uh, weekends and uh, days and yes, practicing. And, more and more individual sessions. So it was the beginning, individual sessions, because most of people, they don't want to expose themselves to a group. They are scared. They think that, well, sometimes I, I, I have the feeling that they are ashamed about their own life or ashamed about their uh, emotions or feelings they don't want to uh, cry in front of a group so they feel shy and they prefer to have uh, individual session and after yeah. two three sessions individual session most of the time they are ready to uh, join a group yeah. and after that they discover the power of the group and the, the love you can feel when you are part of a group and doing this beautiful process. We work together, we heal together, and uh, we uh, spread peace and love around us. So it's beautiful. It's uh, amazing. Yeah. You, pref you prefer... Kind of ritual. Yeah. You prefer group session as well, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. But uh, with the COVID and with uh, my uh, uh, life uh, living uh, in different countries, I learned to do consolation, but online, online consolation. Yeah. So, yes, it, it started 10 years ago. And uh, I started with Skype. <laughs> yeah, we all and did. We all did, yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it wasn't easy because my colleagues, they were judging me and uh, they were thinking that I was uh, killing the process and uh, not respecting the process. But now they changed their minds and they know that the field exists everywhere and we don't need to be with a group. But I love so much groups that I've planned this year a retreat in Portugal for five days. Yes. And, uh, but unfortunately, it's for French speakers. <laughs> okay. uh, so maybe also in the future for English people? Yeah, I did. I did uh, yeah. in the um, UK several times uh, for English speakers. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I work also online with groups. And I love that as well. 
I do. I do uh, in French and in English group consultation uh, online, and it's really powerful. Really, really, we yeah. can feel the connection. And I have some tips to create the connection at the beginning. So uh, each member of the group can uh, feel the belonging because yeah. it's about belonging, to, to feel the belonging. We need to feel this belonging. Yeah. And when we feel this belonging, we are stronger to face our family story, our situation and um, dare to to let go to heal and to uh, realign the head the heart and the body yeah beautiful yeah so so do you work with businesses or uh, private or with health or do you yeah i think you have you are all the qualities to do it all i think or yeah. not yeah i do with uh individuals and with uh, some businesses but if i am honest i have more clients from the the general public instead of uh, companies and what i like to um facilitate it's uh, family businesses because oh, yeah. you ha we have the mix with all the stuff related with the family and uh, uh, all uh, the stuff related to, uh, to the business. So uh, it's amazing the power of uh, systemic consolation and family consolation to support family businesses and mainly when they are thinking to... Um, to um, transmit their business to someone who will buy the family business or to one of the children or grandchildren who will uh, take uh, the ownership of their business. So it's really uh, beautiful. But honestly, I have much more clients from general public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and you, you worked in, in England as well. Right. Yeah. Yes, I teach uh, online also, so this is uh, interesting. So I have uh, an English academy and a French academy, and maybe one day I will have a Portuguese academy. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> yeah, uh, because I I speak these uh, three languages, uh, but at this time only English. So uh, the website is uh, Family Constellations training.co.uk and um, you can find uh, all information on this website for the English speakers yeah yeah so in in the near future you have a French uh, retreat in Portugal yeah and what kind of more um, events do you have do you have in training because I know you can educate uh, people in uh, systemic work Yeah. So is that coming? Yes, and I I am a new a new B supervisor. So I facilitate supervision with my friend Ella Buschner. She's also a constellator. She's a German, but she speaks perfectly French and English. So we do together a group for constellator mainly. Uh, to do the supervision. So we okay. do in English and we do also in French and we start a new group in September. So it's September and October. Every two months we have a meeting, uh, two hours to explore uh, the practice as a consolator because it's also very important to um, think about how we work and uh, mm -hmm. which type of results we get, and also to uh, professionalize the practice, so to make it uh, better and better, and to learn from what we succeed or what we fail. So it's without any judgment, but uh, I had the privilege to introduce supervision with Ella Buschner 
at ISCA gathering, the, our, the last ISCA gathering we had in um, April, so it was amazing. And also I uh, teach, so uh, anyone who wants to start the training course can join because it's open at any time. It's a 24 hours platform, so you can join and you have everything online with PDFs, uh, videos, uh, quizzes, and a webinar every month where uh, students can uh, ask their question. And also it's a plan for them, uh, uh, online practice. So it's part of the training course. We learn how to uh, do online uh, constellation on Zoom. <laughs> okay, perfect, nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so if I ask a colleague of you, what kind of constellator or facilitator you are? What, what will they say? Because Yes, they say I have a, a sense of humor. Uh, okay. I, I like to laugh and uh, to, to, to have some gigglings and uh, not, well, I'm very serious, but also with fun. So yeah. we can say I'm a funny constellator. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, well, that's good, because I think the light in a constellation is, is good. Mm. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it's important not to be too uh, serious, but uh, yes, in, in a certain way, to be uh, funny and serious at the same time. It's really important. Yeah. Not, not to dramatize how family Not too heavy, are. not too... too... Yes. Well, yeah. It's enough heavy, so yeah. we need to make a, a little bit with sparks. Yes. You know? and, yeah. and I Champagne. know you know, so I know you know exactly which moment you can do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah nice. exactly. Mm. So and and if they if they want to more, have more information about you, what is your website? Where where can they find you? So it's uh, constellations with s training.co.uk Well, we put it in the link be, uh, below the, the, mm. the podcast because it's very important that people can, yeah, look up for more mm. information. Yeah. So, Oriana, is there a question that I didn't ask about you? Because I feel that there is m more information, but I, <laughs> at the, this moment, I don't know what question to ask so well for me i think you asked the the main uh questions and it's okay because i could uh, uh talk about my passion for hours so uh, this is why i am a trainer too because mm -hmm. i have so much to share and to offer so yes i know uh, uh, i think it's enough for our friends and uh um, yeah. people um, who are following us, uh, our followers, um, yeah. to, to know about me, about what I do. And uh, I'm so grateful for this post podcast and, uh, and to know you because you are very, you are really amazing uh, with all the, the work you do to spread the word and to uh, attract new people to uh, discover this powerful process. So I'm really grateful. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And, I'm, and I'm very grateful that you are here and that I meet you, that I know you and because you are very um, inspiring and, and, and I know what you mean by funny. And I know <laughs> it's always good to talk to you and you have always the sparkle. And that's, that's what I like. And um, well, maybe one question. I don't know why, but it came in my head mm -hmm. because you doing constellation for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. What kind of development do, do you see if you, in the 20 years that you are, are facilitating constellation? Mm -hmm. So do, do you want me to, to say uh, the development about myself or yeah, what you, I notice in the world? Yeah, maybe both, but, but, okay. but I think it's very me. interesting because, yeah. 
Yes. Well, well, okay. Um, what I notice about myself, is I simplified more and more and more the process and uh, less words and uh, just be there uh, observing with uh, compassion. Mm -hmm. This is the way I've uh, developed. And it, yes, this is about the evolution of my practice. Just be very, very respectful, not pushing. I don't, I used to push a little bit my clients in the past, but now I notice much more results when I'm not pushing. So I'm just really, uh, I go with my clients. I, I respect their um, timing um, and, and it's, it's about being with them, yeah. mainly. Just be with them without any yeah, You connect with them. You feel the energy. Yes. You feel the, yeah. Yes. Mm. Yes. And I think that's your strength. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. I can say that. Yeah. Very slow, very uh, respectful, very gentle. This is something mm -hmm. important. Gentle. Uh, we need that in this world. We need so much gentleness, kindness, yes. kindness. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yes. I am. I am glad that I asked this question. It was a little bit at the end, but somehow mm. I felt that I had to ask it, and I think it's it's good because this is what you make the yeah you and yeah. And, and and that's that's perfect. Yes. Mm. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And 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 I ask the the last question for all of the the, the guests in the, the podcast is: um, Do you have a song that you remind you of systemic work, or a song that you use at your courses? Um, is there a systemic song that you have? Yes, I have one. It's from Alanis Morissette, and oh. it is "Thank You." Oh, beautiful. I know that song. Yes, I will put it on the Spotify list. Yeah. Uh, and I use sometimes this uh, song uh, to uh, close my circle. So this is uh, a very beautiful song. Yeah. Okay. Well, I put it on the, the Spotify list so that we... Um, Oh, mm -hmm. the list that we can use if we need songs for a course or that we just mm -hmm. want to listen to songs. So thank you very much. And uh, while well, we stay in contact, of course, of course. Hey. Yes. And uh, thank you for this, uh, this interview. Thank you, Esther. Thank you. Thanks for listening to this podcast. If you want to book a constellation or if you want to participate in an event, go to the website www.ciso.com. And finally, if you are a facilitator and want to record a podcast with me or you know a facilitator who is suitable for this podcast, please send a message to info at ciso.com. Have a nice day.